world. Today on Nation, we're gonna talk about Facebook, Facebook marketing, how to get work from Facebook, why Facebook is awesome, everything Facebook. So if you have a small business, service company, stay tuned to WCR Nation. What's up everybody? Jersey here from windowcleaner.com and you are here. What is up? What's going on, y'all? Uh, if it's your first time here, have a look around. Hopefully you dig it. Hopefully it is cool enough that you want to binge all the rest of the episodes. And if you are binging episodes, shoot me a text at 862-312-2026. Just be like, yo, I'm watching the show. I'm just watch 16 episodes or listen to. Anyway, it's available anywhere podcasts are or on YouTube. Uh, either way, welcome. What's up? If you are a regular, one of the nation, one of the cool kids, that means you watch all the episodes, you give the thumbs up on the YouTubes, you comment on YouTubes, you've left a review, I don't know what else, oh, and you buy your supplies through me, ah, shameless plug time, uh, thank you, it is because of you that I have brand name K-Cups in my coffee machine, thank you, thank you for that, if you want to uh, let me be your rep, I would love nothing more than that, that's not just a sales pitch, that's literally me wanting to put everybody's order in, all of you. I want to be a rep. So uh, my number, 862-312-2026. That's a cell call, text, whatever. Throw everything in your cart and just text me. Be like, yo, I got an order. Put it in for me, man. And I can do the rest for you. Uh, one thing is at the end of this episode, I'm going to, at the end of this episode, I'm going to give you a code for 5% off. So stay tuned to that. And if you put your order in through me, there you go. Boom. Not only do I get a virtual high five from you, but I also, you also save some money. So, sweet. And they can buy more K-Cups. Because caffeine is delicious. But, uh, no, truly, guys, thanks. Uh, just a couple shout-outs. I got such a slew of these things. Uh, Danny uh, Portillo. What's up? Tom Gorley. Dan, the window man. Monarch Window Cleaning. Of course, the OG himself. Archer Window Cleaning. Uh, Jacob Schwab. What's going on to all of you? Comment. Jump on my live stuff. If you haven't yet, I'm wearing the Be Epic shirt. You can't see it. Go to my Facebook page. You'll be able to find that uh, some nation swag if you dig. And uh, also, uh, follow me. Instagram, Facebook, all that fun stuff. But we are talking about Facebook today. And if you do not have a Facebook account for your business, please comment. Tell me why you don't on the YouTube video if you're listening to this um, as a podcast. Let me know why. I would love to know because um, I know a lot, a lot of times people kind of fight progress and technology, but man, is it it's just so good for your business. Facebook and Instagram. But we're going to be talking about Facebook specifically. And there's a purpose to Facebook, not just for what your wife may do or what you may do, and that's just scroll and see everybody else's uh, highlight reel, as Bobby Walker calls it, which, by the way, Bobby Walker's highlight reel is awesome if you don't know who that is. Uh, anyway, um, it's, it's to showcase your work. It's to showcase your clients. It's to showcase who you are and to create your business is instead of a, you know, X, Y, Z window cleaning, you're a person, you're an actual individual who people can connect with. And if they connect with you, they want to, they want, they want to give you business. I've said this before. Uh, and it still holds true, is that people are more happy to do business with a person over a company. If you're just a company, you're faceless, right? You're cold. You know, they're issued a number. Uh, is this customer number 187443? You know, but if you're a person, you can connect. You can like a person. You can love a person. You can care about a person. I have people who will always, always, always use me. And even in the sales, some of you guys are so dedicated. It's just amazing. I truly want to go out of my way to help you. And in turn, you want to go out of your way to buy supplies for me. That's the same with your window cleaning company. But if you're just a, a website, which a website is huge. A website is huge. Don't ever, ever, ever think that a website's not the most important thing you can do for your business. But if you want to have a personal touch or a personal feel, then you need to have a Facebook or Instagram. Why? Because a picture's worth a thousand words. If you got a hundred posts, a hundred different pictures on Instagram, 
and they're all geotagged and everything else we're going to talk about, you're a person. They can look through your stuff. They can binge your stuff. They can see who you are and get a feel for it. Look at the quality of your work and the equipment you're using and the, the truck and the, the filters that make everything kind of fall together and look just awesome. If you guys haven't checked out uh, Stevo the window cleaner, or Luke, the window cleaner, those guys make videos on window cleaning. Now, mind you, this is window cleaning. That's it. If, you, if you're listening, I just pretended to clean a window ridiculously. But that's it. How do you make that interesting? You add awesome music, you add awesome filters and edits, and you just make it look awesome. They've done that. Now, you can do that with your company by being a person and, and having that Facebook account, that, that presence. But there's certain things with Facebook that you want to do a certain way. And these, these are just kind of tips and suggestions. There's nothing worse than a Facebook page for people that's just ads. No one, you're coming you're again. If your Facebook page is nothing like 20 windows, 199, gutter cleaning, call us today. And that's all it is. No one cares. No one's going to be your friend. No one wants to see that. They're bombarded with uh, ads all the time. Now, if you make note of pricing or what you offer, that's different, right? That's different. Well, and I'm not a, a perfect example by any means. But say I post something. I'm going to post a bunch of cool things that people can connect with and just see. It's just visually appealing or kind of cool. They're going to get it. If I keep watching XYZ window cleaning photos and XYZ using their equipment and XYZ at this awesome house with some really super green, you know, bushes and trees and beautiful flowers. Like I'm seeing XYZ company. I know you do window cleaning. You don't have to tell me your service or your deals. They want to hire you. They don't want to hire a price. And that's the big important thing in Facebook. Don't be ads. Don't be ads. I am also, unfortunately, fortunately, whatever you want to call it, a moderator in some of our groups in Facebook. Guys will come in and the first post they do is just a big ad for their company. Why are you advertising to other window cleaners first off? You're just blanketing. You're just spamming everybody. Everybody hates spam. Why would you Why would you do that? But not only that, we're going to kick you out of the group because it shows you just kind of the type of person you are and you're going to get nowhere. And you probably join a bunch of groups to do that. That's not how to get ahead. How to get ahead is to do smart conversation. And I know it's window cleaning. It's your business. But awesome pictures, go on Instagram or Facebook sometime and just search window cleaning. And you'll see people with like pictures of their equipment up against a house from angles. The stuff that we put out, WCR. The stuff that I do on my Instagram page myself. Uh, Jersey WCR Nation. If you haven't followed me, go to Instagram. Jersey WCR Nation. Or uh, on Facebook, uh, which we just are pushing the Facebook side. And YouTube. I have a personal channel too for some of the other stuff. Anyway, plugs. But a lot of that's just pictures. Man, I see cool pictures or somebody's kids using the equipment. Like, that's cool, right? That's fun for everybody. You can watch that even if you don't have a need for any of the stuff right now. You can still look at the stuff. Still visually cool when we show pictures of the warehouse and like our pole rack. We have hundreds of poles, hundreds of brushes, hundreds of, you know, gross of uh, black diamond pallets of equipment. That's cool to see. So just post a picture. I'm not going to tell you the price. If you want, definitely ask me. That's what I'm there for. It's the same thing with window cleaning. You don't need to post a uh, price. You don't need to post your guarantees and everything else. You don't just post something cool somebody can look at. If they want you, they'll buy you. They're not worried about a price, right? Now, with all that being said, sure, there's people out there either way, but you can connect and, you know, Look at your own Facebook page. I'm guaranteeing you're probably following something. I follow, I follow uh, bike companies. Uh, I follow some woodworking stuff, right? It just pops up. It's just cool pictures. I don't need to see a price for the tool they're showing or a price for the bike build they just did. I just want to look at it. Ah, look at that, right? And by the way, if you're a mountain biker or a woodworker, uh, comment in the video. Tell me what's up or shoot me a text. Say, yo, those are my passions. But how do you convey that? And that's, that's really where the purpose of a window, uh, Facebook page itself is. So first you have to go and set up a page. If you don't have a page, I'm not going to tell you how to get into it. Super, super easy. They make it easy. But set up a personal page and then a business 
page. A business page itself is going to be where everything's at. Even though you're a person, there's a, there's a hair flying around. Uh, even if you're a person, you still need to have a business page because they're going to associate the person. They're going to take the company name as your name. My name's Jersey, but XYZ Window Cleaning. If you see XYZ Window Cleaning page, you know it's me, right? That's kind of how that works. So first, you have to build up the page. You're going to have no friends. You're going to have no follows. You're going to have no content and no reason for anybody to even look at your page. So don't get bummed that no one's following you because you posted a picture. Don't get bummed because you posted a picture and no one liked it. It takes time. It takes time. But you just keep going with content and going with content and going with content. And eventually, people start seeing your stuff. They start liking it. They follow their friends, see that they liked it. It's this big web and it works amazingly. When you have something picture-wise, too, uh, I've seen this where somebody was uh, window cleaning and the cat was kind of, you know, swatting at them. And I like thousands of likes thousands of likes because it's cool it was just fun that's kind of where the page is so keep that in your brain is that you're building to that so keep that in your brain um first set up set up the page start putting content out but the big thing then is where do you put the content now you can start by getting maybe some of your family member hey like my page like my page like my page that just gets some kind of traffic there just i know you're not advertising to them but if you go to a page and there's four follows, you're like, uh, all right. But if there's 10, 15, at least you can see they're starting to do something, right? So get that. That's fine. But then where do you put pictures? You're not spamming the sales or deals or whatever. You're putting out the content. Where do you put the content? There's a couple really, really cool places. And that is a mom's group. And that's a local group. Those are two of the big ones. And I'm going to give you some example. Um, I live in a town called Mooresville and Mooresville Moms is a group. There's also uh, Mooresville um, uh, garage sale ones and all these other Facebook pages. There's a ton of them. All those pages have people that you're looking to talk to. A Mooresville Moms group, because remember our demographic is going to be a woman and she's going to have kids. That's at least mine. I don't know what yours is. Those are moms with kids. They're active. They don't have time. They're looking for play dates. They don't have time to clean the windows. They got enough things on their plate, right? So advertising in those areas, and just, again, when I say advertising, I'm just talking, putting your pictures out there. Kind of a cool thing, you know, like, um, you know, putting a picture of some really sparkly windows and some green grass, like, hey, thanks, Doris, for letting us keep them clean for you. Something like that, right? Just something that like, okay, these are window cleaners. That's kind of a cool picture. It makes people stop, right? If you um, post something of, say, a dog licking a window, and in that post you say, there's a right way and a wrong way to have clean windows or something like that. Something like that. There's no ad there. There's nothing. But they're going to look at that picture and be like, what? Or uh, uh, our new window cleaning tech showed up today. Something like that. I'm not advertising, but what I'm doing is telling you subliminally kind of what we do, and they're going to look at who posted it. And if you're XYZ Window Cleaning posting it, they can get it. They get it. They start seeing all these pictures. Clever pictures, funny pictures, memes. I know you are probably sick of them, but they sell. Memes sell because people just want content to look at. They want something to stop them and giggle. Like the best, you know... um, uh, ads that you have on the Super Bowl are funny ads, right? You, of course, you don't remember who did them because it's not a post where you can read the name. But doing the same thing on a Facebook ad or a Facebook uh, group is big because that gets people to stop. It's just engaging. But what's happening is, is you're posting it on your page and you're sharing it to this group. You could post directly to groups too, but this is like doubling the content so people on your page can see it. If they come to your page, they see that there's all these posts. You're creating this engagement and eventually you'll start having people comment, LOL, and they'll tag their friend or, uh, you know, this is how I clean windows, LOL. Like just engagement means people are reading it. They're liking it enough to talk to it, talk to you. That's huge. That means you're getting through with some kind of direction. And that's exactly 
exactly what you're trying to do. Is you're trying to get through the noise to let people know who you are without being in their face. You ever seen those car ads, by the way, that are like, uh, you know, uh, uh, on the Memorial Day sale, we have, you know, hundreds of vehicles to choose from. For it's it, You're not listening to the stuff they're saying, you know? New 2019, still a 2500 under MSRP or whatever. You didn't just, like, catch all that information. They're just showing you vehicles. They're showing you the lots. They always show you the sign. It's just so that that part of it can register. The cheesy car commercial, to me, never sold me on a truck or a car. I may look for, like, um, you know, uh, a special or something I think is kind of cool. But for the most part, it's just reminding me they exist. And that's kind of where pictures are. You don't want to spam groups. No one wants to read your, you know, you have a picture of a squeegee like this and it's 20 windows, 199, call today. And there's a phone number. Like people, no one's going to, no one's going to stop and look at the picture for more than a second. They're going to see it's an ad and realize it's an ad. And people are instantly angry at ads. They're, they're instantly turned away when they know something's an ad. When you can slowly, subliminally work an ad in, <coughs> excuse me. That's that's gold, man. That's gold. And that's where Facebook... When you put those pictures out there, let people start in, in, engaging. So go out there. You're making content. You're making the Facebook page, and now you're sharing it in groups. Another one is local groups. Local groups are huge. Find your city. Just type in the search bar of Facebook, your city, and click the groups button, and you'll see them. There'll be weird ones, you know, 